Hello, welcome to Heavy on the Chai. I am Chantel, and today I want to get into a colorful work look. So this is a collab with a lot of beautiful creators that I will have listed below, and we all are professional women who believe that we can wear color to work. A lot of people, we have the stigma that you cannot wear colorful eye looks to, to the workplace that is frowned upon, but we beg to differ. So please follow along as I create a bold, colorful, powerful, boss lady look. Um, today I'm going to be using some of my singles from Sydney Grace. Um, also, the ladies, I will have their videos linked below, and I would appreciate if you click on below and just follow the train, support them, like their videos, leave a comment, and tell me, are you bold enough to wear color to, to work? In fact, are you bold enough to wear what I'm going to create to work? Okay, so I've already done my skincare. I have my base on. Um, I have on the uh, AJ Crimson foundation. I'm wearing like three shades. Um, in the center of my face, I'm wearing shade four. Around the perimeter of my face, I'm wearing four, 4.5. And for my bronzer contour, I'm wearing shade 6.5, I believe. Those details will be linked in the box. But, um, yeah. And I have um, some blush on. I didn't do any highlights. I am just really want to focus on this eye look. So here are my singles. They've grown since she had her sale. And I'm going to do something orangey. So um, I'm going to start in with my Sonia G Crease 1. This is a squirrel brush. And I think I'm going to go into my transition with this color here. And this color is... Let me see, what is it? Adore Me. So I'm going to go in with Adore Me. And my usual technique, I just want to put it on. I'm going to pack it a little more. And just build it up in my crease. This is a beautiful color. Yeah, so I am, I think this is the first time I just am going to focus on my eyes. And I came in with my base done because, um, because of the collab, I didn't want to make my video too lengthy doing the, com the com um, doing my complexion products. I want to thank everyone who's been supportive, DMing me, checking on me. I'm feeling much better. Um, I've, I'm taking it one day at a time, staying prayed up. I went hiking and just being grateful. I really do appreciate the love and the support. Hmm. Let me see if I'm liking this. I think it's looking good. Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I'm liking that. Yeah, I like it. All righty. Let me put a little bit more. I'm going ham. Pull it out. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. I'm just making this up as I go along. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I want something that is a bit different. Since I have been going crazy with greens, I love the greens and the blues. So let me try another color. But honestly, I really just wanted to wear something neutral. Because I'm a neutral girl. And sexy. Um, this uh, collab was started by Chris Loves Lux. I believe we were in Marlo Keenan's live. And that, was it in Marlo Keenan's live? I believe so. Well, we had a discussion about eye looks that are appropriate for the workplace. And this was a topic, and Chris took on the challenge. So I am just grateful for being included. Yeah. Just making sure they both look even. Okay, I think so. Yeah. Maybe a little bit more on this side. And again, that's Adore Me from Sydney Grace. But it's one of her singles. But um, when I mention products, I want to be clear that uh, please use what you have. I'm sure that we all collect a lot of makeup and we have to use our makeup. So I want to go in with something orange, but I want to build um, the orange that I have though. It's a shimmer. I really want to put this orange in there. I think I might do it. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, first let me go in. <laughs> I'm scared, y'all. Let me go in with, what is this orange? This is not orange enough. Pick with one brand. But I think I am going to go in. Oh my God. Did I jack up one of my shades? Blooper. I think I'm going to go in with Sunset. This is Sunset. Oh, it put a dent in one of my shades, y'all. Oh. Ooh. So that's Sunset. I'm doing something a little different. And I want to, oh, I want to pack that in the center. Hmm. It's not as orange as I want it to be, but it's okay. I'm going to make it work. Ah, it's going to make it work, baby. It's pretty, though. And this is the uh, Spectrum and a collab with Katie Jane Hughes. And this is in the number two brush. It's a tiny, flat shader brush. I am learning that when I've been watching a lot of makeup artists, they use very detailed brushes. And so I'm thinking... I have small eyes. I need to use a smaller brush. All right. That's not really what I wanted. But, and when I tap this, I'm just making sure my primer, I use the Gerard Clean Base. And what color is this? Oh, the color rubbed off, but let me show you the color. I think it's natural. This is the color. The color rubbed off, y'all. I've been using it too much. 
if you see this light going in and out, it's my um my sensor light. The simple human sensor light. And this video is not going to be edited. And if it is, it's going to be very little editing. Because, of course, I procrastinated and waited. Hmm. Okay. Waited till the last minute. So now I am going to go in with the number 17 spectrum with, uh, with Katie Jane Hughes. And I'm going to soften this up a little bit because uh, I can't have no harsh line. All right. So that's not giving what I wanted it to give. That was not my intended look. So now I'm going to go in with this bright orange shimmer. And this one is orange... Crush. This is the this is the 15 brush. It's a flat shader, but it's bigger than the the other brush. Oh, this is. Oh yeah. Now this is giving what it came to give. If I go on with the finger, really, I can really practice. But the finger is, uh... So I'm packing and pulling slightly. Packing and pulling. I really want to bring the light. Packing and pulling to bring that light and build this. And I could wet it, but because this is a work look, I don't want to bling out of my um, glasses. Another thing, this look will be great for eye glass wearers like my blind self. Okay. Bling bling baby. Alright. I know y'all like where is she going with this? Another thing I have to be concerned about time because in the real world I know we only have a few minutes to get ready for work. I'm going to go in with the darker with that same brush but I'm using the back side of it I am going to go in what color is this this is beautiful this is called chocolate bar <laughs> chocolate bar well, let me hold it for a minute that's chocolate bar and I want to oh I'm going to pack that in my center lid. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. And you know I have my hooded eyes. So I still bring my shimmers over that hood. Ooh. And I'm pulling it, I'm pulling it up to this point. You know, I like to do my looks in a point. And then I'm going to take the back with that shimmer and just marry the two. Then I'm going to go back with this brown, the chocolate bar, and just mend that seam. So it looks like they have just melted into each other. Okay. But I don't want to go over my 
my transition shirt. Wow, that's pretty. So I am going to take a clean blending brush and just blend that out. I'm going to go back into Adore Me, and, which was my transition shade, and just blend those harsh edges out. I'm dipping back into Adore Me. Bringing that under my eye. Cleaning it off. Going back in, back and forth until I get the look I want. Cleaning it off, going back in with the door me. Ooh. And bringing it under my eye as well. And this is the back and forth. I'm going to go back in with the orange crush and just play with that little area where it transitions into the chocolate bar. And just shimmy that around, flipping the brush until you can't see any area of demarcation. So it looks like I'm losing my orange crush. So, yep, I'm going to go back in with a little bit more orange. And I think I think I want to go in with a little more chocolate bar on the end. Or I can go in with a chocolatey shade. Let me take this little brush from Katie Jane. This is number 18. And I'm just going to put, what is this? This is another shade. I feel like I need a little, a mat that's a little bit deeper on the end. What shade is this? Lambs a, a lambs a leaping. I think that's what it says. Well, this is chocolate. Lambs a leaping. Chocolatey. Oh, I'm wasting time. I gotta go. Just put that in on the corner. Just a little bit. And run to the back. Oh, I'm taking too long, yeah. Okay. So, I believe this is my look. I'm going to come back with liner, lashes. I'm going to come back with liner, lashes, and a lip. Okay, I'm back with the finished look. Would you wear this to work? Because I sure would. So on my eyes, I decided not to do the lashes, even though I have some pretty natural lashes. I decided that, you know what, in the real world, I usually do not wear lashes to work. So I skipped the lashes. I did go in with my Shantikai eyeliner. Um, and also, I want to show you that I went in with additional color this color and this is uh hold on since i'm going to work you see i put my my coat on y'all and now i can't see so i can put my glasses on lost princess so i took lost princess and i topped her over orange crush and let me see if you can read this Hold on, you know I'm special. Is it working? Y'all know I'm using a phone. It ain't gonna work. Okay, so I went in with Lost Princess 
But remember, initially, I went in with this one. But it was really bright, so I wanted to deepen it up and put a little more pop. So this one is the Orange Crush. In the crease, I went in with Adore Me. And I deepened it in the corner with, what is this? Lord's Leaping in the outer corner. And on my lid, the additional bling is this chocolate bar. It's very beautiful. And I lined my eyes with a Pat McGrath shade. I lined my eye with that. I also lined it to give it a little more bling with Blitz Brown. Okay. On my lip, I went in with uh, Marc Jacobs. It's on clearance right now at Sephora. Even with the glasses on, y'all, y'all know I can't see. I'll put it in the uh, description. But this is a beautiful chocolatey. Well, it's more like my skin tone. I went in with that. This is the Marc Jacobs. And uh, also, I went and lined my eye with the ColourPop BFF3. And let me show you what that looks like. I've had this one for quite a while. Yeah. Okay, so this is the look. I'm ready to take care of business. Are you? Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed getting ready with me. Y'all know I'm slow, so that's why I tried to hurry through. But I really, really want to take my time once i learn how to speed it up and everything else take my time and show you how i zhuzh things back and forth because those are the details that i always wanted to see when i was watching youtube to learn how to do my eyeshadow so again um, i lined my eye i also went under my eye with the same transition color like the mattes I took this brush, which is, uh, we all have similar brushes, but I'll link it down below. Hold on. This is Katie Jane Hughes, number 11. But what I do with this brush is, because it's so flat, I just take it and, and just layer this stuff on. And I flicked a little bit of the orange here, just to be extra since we're going to wear a color to work and not only that you guys when you wear eyeglasses you know you can play it off so yep so i did the Chantecai, uh mascara i could have built it up a little bit more but um you know with the color and everything i think i'm already doing too much and this turban right here is from the wrap life if y'all don't know this is so comfortable but anyway please uh like and subscribe and share um, also click in the, I, I will probably pin it in the comments section, um, all the links to the ladies videos. Come on, you guys, let's show some support and get some, uh, inspo for colorful work looks because, you know, we can be professional and play in color and love makeup. How about that? So anyway, be blessed. Thank you so much for your blessings, for your good energy. I will never ever forget you and I will be doing the random selection for that black heart thing that we had going on and I'm going to select at least two people maybe three so uh, I will be DMing you with the results of that if you are a winner so it's getting hot with this coat on and y'all know it's nighttime I ain't going to work I'm about to deconstruct as Monique Jones will say night I love you.